Let's take a look. There's a question from um, Bunmi Ahmed who says, uh, hi, I've had essential uh, blood pressure problems and been on meds for 17 years on strict carnivore for 13 days now. Do you think this way of eating will help after so many years of medication? Yeah, it definitely can. It obviously depends on what's causing your hypertension, but there are a number of causes, very reversible causes of hypertension that really don't just don't get taught or publicized in medical school um, because they don't take medications um, or procedures to treat. Um, it's, you know, when you, when you look at carbohydrates, carbohydrates raise insulin and insulin has hundreds of physiological effects in your body. First and foremost, it is a growth hormone. So it's a an anabolic steroid. It causes tissues to grow. So, but generally not the tissues you want to grow. So first and foremost, it causes your fat to grow. It causes your rectal polyps to grow. It causes your skin tags to grow. It causes men's prostates to grow. It causes uh, women's fibroids, uterine fibroids to grow. And it also causes the muscular layer of your arteries to grow and thicken and get, um, uh, and, and so they, they're not as compliant and they won't be able to release and actually increase the, the, the capacity and volume that they're able to hold and therefore increase your blood pressure. And so that's a very, very easy way of um, reversing, um, what, of, uh, you know, very reversible cause of high blood pressure um, is getting rid of the carbohydrates in your diet, going on a ketogenic diet, whether that's a carnivore diet or another form of ketogenic diet. You get your blood blood uh, sugar down, you get your insulin down, and eventually that muscular layer will go back to normal. It won't be uh, hypertrophy. And that can definitely reduce your blood pressure as well. Um, another thing is homocysteine, which is um, an amino acid that is metabolized by B12 that causes irritation to the inside of your arteries. It actually can cause damage that can lead to atherosclerosis and plaque. And that um, can also cause your arteries to constrict, causing high blood pressure. Homocysteine will only be high if you have inadequate levels of B12, for instance. So if you're eating a lot more meat and you're ketogenic, that's going to hit two major causes for essential hypertension. And a lot of people are finding that they can severely reduce their um, blood pressure requirements or even come off their blood pressure medications uh, entirely. So uh, yeah, so it could very well be uh, that you can come off your blood pressure medication, but it's something you have to have to sort of see if that is indeed what's going on. There, there are actually a few people that are also salt sensitive. It's actually more rare than people think, but it's um, it, it can still happen. I have seen that where people have been ketogenic carnivore for a number of years, and they're still having weird labile high blood pressure, and then they cut out salt and just goes bang to normal within a couple of days. So that's something to think about as well. And because you're on medication, you need to be careful and you need to work with your doctor because you may not need as much blood pressure medication in the coming weeks or months once these things start normalizing. And so you can get dizzy or lightheaded, especially when standing up out of a sitting position. And um, that can be dangerous because you can fall. So you can get your blood pressure can go too low if you're on medication and you don't need the medication anymore. So then your blood pressure may go too low and, uh, and that can be dangerous and a false risk. So, you know, work with your doctor. And, and if you have any of those dizzy lightheaded episodes, check your blood pressure. If your blood pressure is uh, showing lower uh, levels, you need to work with your doctor to start reducing your blood pressure medication, which is a good thing.